Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. Don't mind my hair, I let it air dry and this is what it happens. It looks like a disaster, it's so frizzy, it's so big, I can't even stand looking at it. But I really want to film today, I didn't have time to film last week, so I did do like two live, um, live videos. And uh, today I had... Today I have a lot of time to film, so I, I thought that I will film a couple of videos for you guys because I have so many video ideas, but don't have that much time. So, but we are here today. I'm very excited because I just got, just got. No, I didn't just got. I got it a couple of days ago. My early birthday present for my mom. Uh, she asked me what I wanted, and I told her I wanted the new Anastasia and Jakey Aina eyeshadow palette, and she got it for me and my sister. And of course, I couldn't wait until my birthday, the September the 12th. So I, of course, I got my birthday gift very, very early. But that's me. I like having my presents very early. But this is the outside packaging. It looks beautiful. It look, looks more beautiful in real life than on the website. I did watch a couple of reviews and makeup tutorials. I've been trying this palette for last week and I have to say that I don't, I'm not subscribed to Jackie, Jackie Aina. I do watch a couple of her videos. I think she's funny, but uh, I really fell in love with the color scheme in this palette, so I had to have it. And... Um, I almost have all of the Anastasia, these kind of palettes, except the last one that they did a collab with Alice, Alisa, I think it's, I don't know what it's called, the pink one. And I think I'll probably buy it when it's kind of like 50% off, like I did with the um, Subculture palette, but I love Subculture palette. This pa last palette I didn't buy because the shades are not something that I'm going to use every day. And um, I already have a, a colorful palette from... Uh, I just forgot the brand. Yeah, doesn't matter that I didn't even touch. So, uh, but I want my collection to be full. I'll get that sometime in the future. But this is how the packaging looks. It's very beautiful. And I have to say the new Anastasia Norina palette, the big one is so beautiful. I really, really want that. Really want that palette. But okay, we are here for this palette. It's a beautiful color scheme. I have to say they're all kind of, uh, deeper darker for my skin tone but I like that you just use a little bit and go and it goes on smoothly easy to build up I do miss um, like a very bright shade that they have in every other palette let me see if I can find the one that I'm been using a lot this is the soft glam palette it's a beautiful palette this kind of shade but I understand that uh, this is Jackie Aina's palette, she doesn't need maybe this kind of shades, but of course I have other shades that I can use. So this one, I hit pan, never happens. I have so many eyeshadows, but I really like that, this one. And I have to say that I really love the Anastasia's um, uh, palettes. I really love the color scheme. I really love the shades, the formula of shades, uh, eyeshadows, they're, and pigments, they're beautiful, but also they are not the same. So this palette doesn't look and it's not nothing like other palettes or other brown shades in other palettes of Anastasia or the purple one in Norina. It's not the same. There goes the brush. And uh, I just think it's beautiful. I've been using it the whole week and I created some amazing makeup looks. I didn't feel them, didn't film them. Um, unfortunately, I didn't have time, but I thought that I would do a fast makeup look, not talking so much, and uh, swatch this palette. So that if you're interested, first before we go further in this video, don't forget to subscribe. Please do that. That, that means a lot to me. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, and let's go. So I'm going to remove the plastic. I didn't do that before. And uh, what I want to do is I'm take, going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to do, go in with ginger in my crease. I'm just going to tap and go in because you're going to get a lot of shade. And I just want this to be like a shade in my crease. You can see my veins 
popping through. I didn't use um, any Azure base that, that it's going to cancel that. I just used the Urban Decay primer. I'm going to use my new brush from Luxy 702 type blending brush that I got in one of my subscription boxes. I don't know which one, but let's go in with this shade. This is Edges. Edges, it's called. Deep up the crease a little bit. These are pigmented, but there are some fallout. So it's exactly like the other eyeshadow palettes from Anastasia. They do have um, fallout, especially the shimmery shades. So I do prefer to do my eyes before I go in with my makeup or foundation. But they blend very nice. I mean, nothing that bothers, bothers me, but maybe if you don't like fallout and you don't like uh, Anastasia's eyeshadows, I don't think you're going to like these because they are typical Anastasia eyeshadows. So back in with that fluffy shade with ginger and just blend more. Then I'm going to go with the same brush and use the credit this dark brown shade. I love that, that that this one is in here. I've been using it a lot, this brown. And I'm going to use my finger to go with this shade here that I can't pronounce. Retrotation, something like that, I don't know. It's a beautiful shade. I'm going to go Put that all over my eyelid. It's a beautiful shade. So I think I'll leave it like this right now and I'll do my foundation and rest of my makeup and then I'll be back to finish the makeup look. So guys, I'm back. I'll be struggling with my eyelashes today and I just give up. We are going to leave them like this. They don't want to work with me today. So they are the bosses today. But I'm going to take the palette again and I want to go in with the ginger and smudge it under my lower lash line. And we're going to bring it very low. We're liking that a lot. I'm seeing many YouTubers doing that and it looks so beautiful. So we're going to do the same. And pretend we are famous and that we know what we are doing. <laughs> Look how beautiful this looks. So I'm going to take the same brush and I want to go in with the credit and take it very close to my lower lash line. But not the whole way. In the brush and I'm going to go into edge and use that of the rest of the eye very close to the lower lash line I mean so I don't have anything right now to go and put under my eyebrows so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in this soft glam and use this light shade here but you can use a powder or anything that you have that you have or on a, another eyeshadow I just want to do this. I think this is a beautiful palette. And I... And I, then I'm going to go back in this palette with the same brush. I'm going to use this shade here. Use a white eye pen in the here. You can go with the black pen or brown, but I do prefer this kind this week or this month going in with white. I'm going to put some mascara on. 
Let's see, we're going to use this mascara from Kaya Cosmetics. I'm going in with lip liner from MAC. This is um, stripped down. I'm going to put that all over my lips. And then I'm going in with the Buxom Celeste lip gloss, one of my favorite that I had in so many videos. Okay, my hair is so frizzy and a mess. Please don't look at it. Um, I can't stand watching myself, but okay, let's go back to the palette. So this is the final look. I really like how this turned out. Uh, really really like this makeup look I've been using this palette a lot this week the whole week ex exactly I didn't use any other palette except this one so I'm going to swatch all of the shades and uh, let's go I don't know how should we go maybe like this let's go with this first shade here one of my favorite shades in this palette. I mean all of the shades are very pigmented very beautiful um, so easy to work with just going to swatch them so you can see. The swatches, I don't think they look the best when you swatch a palette, but they are very easy to work with, very easy to build up. But I just want to, to just want to show you how the shades look on my skin tone. Let's take of my watch they stain my fingers a little bit especially the purple one let's go with the second board here I'm not, I'm not pressing hard at all look oh I had this red all over my eyelid um, I think it was yesterday and it looks so beautiful and the three last and the three so this is the palette on my skin tone. Now I did, I didn't press hard in the pans just because I didn't want to, they were powdered, I didn't want to destroy the palette, but also I think I need to for my skin tone. I think they look beautiful. It's so exciting. I get so creative when I look at this palette. I want to create so many makeup looks. I did create a couple of makeup looks this week and I love every single of them. Uh, I think they're pigmented, they're beautiful, exactly like Anastasia's eyeshadow palettes are. So if you like those, that, um, if you like that formula, you're going to love this palette. But I think it's something special and I really, really like it. I enjoy this palette a lot and I think I'm going to use it a lot also. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. So guys, I hope you like this video. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe uh, and hit that notification bell. And I see you in the next video. I love you all. Bye.